Okay, here's a trick I created. I call, What are the Chances? Uh, this trick was inspired by a few uh, brilliant ideas I found on Miss Meg A22's website called thecardtrickteacher.com. I won't get into specifics of what these tricks or tutorials were just yet. I'll uh, mention that in the tutorial, which I should have posted up fairly soon. So I'll just show you the effect. Now, you just use a regular deck of cards. There's no gimmicks. You can show the cards are all mixed. And they can cut the cards a number of times if they want. It's uh, not really necessary because we're going to generate a random card using this red card. Now I'll just show all the backs of the cards too just so you can see that there's no other red card hidden anywhere here. And I'd have the spectator just insert the card anywhere they like. Now you're probably wondering what's on the other side of this card. Well what I've done is I've actually um, labeled the card value and suit to point at the cards that are opposite each side of this inserted card. This is going to generate our random card. So we're going to set that there and we'll just turn that over for now and we can mix these cards up. Doesn't really matter. The spectator can do that. Now, before we reveal our randomly generated card, we're going to also prepare generating our random number between 1 and 52 so that we can reveal them both at the same time. And I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to generate, we're going to select four random cards, total them up to get our random number between technically 4 and 52 because if we had all four aces that would be four, aces being one of course, and if we had all four kings that would be a maximum of 52, kings being 13. So the spectator can cut anywhere they want Okay, they cut out a jack, so the jack value is 11, so we'll write 11 down. And we look at the next card, value is 4. We'll write that down, 4. Now, place those back, and the spectator can cut somewhere else for the final two cards. We've got a queen here, so that's 12. And our next card is a 2, so we'll write 2 down. So our random values are 11, 4, 12, and 2. Now we'll total those up. So 11 and 4 is 15, plus 12 is 17, uh, or, I'm sorry, uh, 11 and 4 is 15, plus 12 is 27, plus 2 is 29. So our total is 29. That's our random number. So we have a random number, and you notice I'm not touching the deck. I'm not going to do anything funny. I'm going to leave the deck as is. We just generated a number, 29, and now we're going to just generate our a random card and to do that we're just going to actually we could have the spectator mix these cards around it doesn't matter they can choose however they want to do it now we're going to turn over our middle card to show that it, what card represents what so we've got value for this card suit for that card so let's see our suit we've got a diamond for the suit and we've got a six for our value so what are the chances that the six of diamonds is the 29th card in this deck. Now notice I didn't touch it. Now watch and see what happens. Let's, let's count 29 cards and see if we arrive at the six of diamonds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and the 29th card. Is it the Six of Diamonds? There you have it. So, yes, this uh, trick, by the way, ends very cleanly. The uh, spectator can examine all the cards. There's nothing unusual about them. There's no gimmicks. This trick is very simple. It's practically self-working. So yeah, I hope you liked it and uh, we'll see you at the tutorial soon. Thanks for watching.